Okay, my last short tip video, I created this surface. It looks okay. There aren't any creases, any artifacts. If you look without the grid or even with the unforgiving zebra matcap. But nevertheless, this surface has an issue. In edge mode, if you hover over the edges, you will see that the edge is divided into multiple segments. I called it an issue, but it depends. In some cases, you can work perfectly fine with such a surface. Sometimes you want to have an edge which isn't that divided. And there is a simple hack for that. Selecting an edge and pressing delete. And sometimes it works, sometimes not. It's Like I said, it's a quick hack and it's not that reliable. That's why I wanted to show you some different methods which take more time. First of all, select the edge with alt in edge mode of course select the whole loop shift d to duplicate it and it looks like as it is a single curve but if you press alt j for unjoining it consists of a lot of curves i undo this unjoining step look for rebuild curve i will rebuild it to have a single clean curve and here I will go with the points this time and the higher the value the more accurate the rebuilt curve will be the more accurate in comparison to the original shape so let's type in a high value something like 200 let's press ok press alt j for unjoining it remains as a single curve so that's the first step so that's basically it concerning merging divided edges. First select the whole edge loop with Alt, then Shift D for duplicating, rebuild the curve, and in the rebuild options give the points number a high value for recreating an accurate curve. And you can use this method for every surface. The rest of this video is how I resurface this particular sheet and the power of XNURBS. And after rebuilding this single curve you have two options or at least i have found two options let's duplicate the stuff i will say right away in the third option i will use xnerbs and the xnerbs option is by the way the best one but i will show you the alternative one without xnerbs also so first of all create an isoparam curve along this axis the x axis in edge mode shift d duplicate this one so that we have a separate curve let me hide this one for a minute this step is important delete this curve again this isoparam curve because we have already duplicated this and made a separate curve but the isoparam curve on the sheet we have to delete so there are two options either you go to edge mode and simply select the isoparam curve and press delete or you go in solid mode look for delete redundant topology and delete the isoparam curve that way and the reason for deleting the isoparam curve is that we want to create another isoparam curve in face mode select this guy the sheet and again ctrl r for isoparam but this time the other way around along along the y-axis so press tab and create another isoparam curve and the reason for deleting the horizontal one was if we have created the second isoparam curve without deleting the first horizontal one, this one would be also splitted. But we don't want to have a splitted isoparam curve if we duplicate it. We want to have a single curve. Shift D and now we have the, the vertical curve. And if you press Alt J, it remains as a single curve. So that's what we wanted. We don't need this sheet any longer. Next step is cutting this curve. If you don't have a shortcut for that, just look for cut curve. I have one. And cut this curve with the vertical one. And if it doesn't work, no problem. Shift D. Okay, press SS. And again, cut curve. This time I use my shortcut. Select the cutter, which is this long one. Press OK. Now we don't need this long one any longer. We can delete it. And we can delete this half also and we will again cut the curve but this time the horizontal one and we will again use the vertical one as a cutter cut curve select this guy the vertical one okay now we are left with this situation and now simply extrude this one the vertical one pressing e and change the handle to f freestyle so you can determine the position of the handle 
now you can drag along the x-axis we don't need this curve any longer because we will use the edge of this sheet and now we can simply loft it so selecting this curve shift select this edge press l with g1 continuity and shift select the horizontal curve and press ok and in face mode we can delete this face in solid mode select this face alt x change the gizmo with f do it somewhere here and now we, we can simply snap this one here at the center merge halves together press ok and if we look from the front view they look quite similar the edges of this sheet aren't as splitted as this one let me hide this curve so it consists of four segments this whole edge loop consists of four segments that's okay in comparison to this one and this was the first way to create a sheet with less segments on its edge but let me show you the best one the best option using xnerps so again let's duplicate this sheet as well as the rebuilt curve the single one which we have created at the beginning and now you can simply go to face mode select the sheet ctrl r for creating some isoparam curves so the first one ctrl r tap the second one again tap here is another one and if we now simply shift d duplicate this guy press ok delete the sheet join this one the horizontal one also join it and we can rebuild it and i will give it a high value something like 50 f rebuild this one also rebuild curve points give him 10 points this one is also a single curve now and if we select this guy and look for x nerves and simply select the vertical curve as well as the shift select the horizontal one we get a sheet like this and if we hide or deactivate these three and now in which edge mode look at this if i hover over it it's one single clean edge without any divisions so xnerps is by far the best option one last thing if you think the xnerps version looks too wobbly in comparison to the original one that's not a problem you can always borrow some extra guiding curves from the original one so let's delete the x nerves sheet and duplicate the original sheet in face mode run the isoparam command let's say one here and another one here and we can even do a third one and let's take these three isoparam curves shift d alt x mirror it along the y axis after changing the position of the gizmo with f we don't need the sheet any longer and now let's run the x nerves again in edge mode first select the main curve and now shift select all the guiding curves all the vertical ones and now the horizontal one and note that you can't do this that easily with the loft or with the patch because in order to use these guiding curves with the loft they have to touch 100 percent accurately the outer curve the x nerves in comparison is far more forgiving it allows you a certain tolerance which allows you to resurface stuff far easier with these guiding curves press ok let's again compare this x nerves sheet with the original one here you can see that these two are identical except for the fact that this edge is one single edge and here we have the problematic one